I would like to show you my seed starting setup. It is a 65 watt HLG quantum board LED light. You can see the timer on the bottom left that I use to time the light. I usually set that to around 16 to 18 hours per day. And what you see in front of you would be a hydroponic way of starting seeds. I'll show you a little bit of that. The yellow object in the back right is a fly strip. Uh, there were some issues with the Walmart brand of rubber mulch and had some flies hatch out of it, but within a day uh, that was taken care of and that will be uh, removed in the near future. You'll notice that these cups are drink cups and the reason they were selected is because my 3.75 inch net pots fit inside those perfectly. So what I did was I took a uh, net cup and uh, a sponge seed starter that was typically uh, found in the um, Arrow Garden setups. And this net pot was inserted into the cup. The nutrient solution was filled up in the cup until it was about, oh, perhaps uh, three quarters of an inch in the bottom of the net cup. I surrounded the sponge with this rubber mulch just to stabilize the sponge and to hold it in place because what's happening is the nutrient water in the cups wicks up on that sponge. It gives the seeds enough moisture to germinate and then as they grow, uh, they will actually grow down through the base of that net pot and separate and I will get a thick mass of roots that grows using passive hydroponics. Now, if I were to grab hold of one of these cups and lift it up, you'll see that it's dripping water a little bit. It tells you that the uh, nutrient level is still where I had it set originally. Uh, these two yellow straight neck summer squash seeds came up and they will develop roots and go down into that cup here soon. The nice thing about using this cup size is it fits in my larger containers for hydroponics for growing out. And I start a couple seeds just to make sure they have good germination. Uh, the smaller one I'll probably get rid of and keep this larger one. These are cherry fall uh, cherry tomatoes and it gets about uh, five, 10 inches tall and cascades over the side of the container. This is a Mexican gherkin, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a cucumber or not, but it's, it's like a cucumber. They get to grape size and they taste like a cucumber that has a, a touch of lemon or dill to them, almost like a dill pickle. This is a version of cucumber that I wanted to try. It's called um, Mini Muncher and it produces uh, four inch long uh, cucumbers. And what you see over here, this is giant romaine lettuce. Now, I did something different here. I put more than one foam insert into that net cup, and that's just because um, I do not plan on growing these out in a net cup. I'm gonna pull those uh, individual foam plugs out, and I'm going to insert those probably into a tote or individual containers where I can grow out the uh, heads of lettuce. Now, if the nutrient starts to drop too much, what I'll do is I'll come back in and I will pour a little bit more nutrient into here to bring it up and sustain the, the plant until the roots reach a point where they start to, to branch out and uh, give me a, a hardy looking plant that I can transplant into uh, perhaps a uh, five gallon bucket. Or uh, sometimes I use 18 gallon totes, uh, 27 gallon totes, 32 gallon trash cans, or 44 gallon trash cans, depending on how large the plant's going to get and how much weight it has in fruit typically. So there you have it. That is my setup for seed starting.